Joel at Earth Tools here. We're putting a PTO assembly together in a BCS tractor. This is the, uh, the newer style BCS PTO that's been current since about 1995. This is the one with the tapered three jaw fingers that drive the implement. All of those types of PTOs on BCS tractors have a PTO engagement and disengagement system that is internal in the tractor transmission. And repairing them is a little more technical than the old style external ones. So I've already uh, taken this thing apart. There's actually a service document on our website that walks through the disassembly of the transmission. But in terms of getting the, uh, the PTO shifting assembly back into the transmission, this is the trickiest part. So I thought we'd shoot a video. First thing to realize is that the, the, the PTO shifting collar, which is right here, gets moved in and out by the PTO shift linkage, which is now removed from the transmission. And what keeps it in place, what makes it stay in the engaged or disengaged position, is the fact that there's a ball and spring detent system. And there's actually two balls here and one spring. The spring slides through the shaft. There's a hole drilled all the way through the shaft. And then a ball goes on each end of the spring. When situated in there, the balls will be pushing out against the inside of this collar, which will fit down over that ball and spring assembly. There's two grooves in here that the balls click between uh, as they're shifted. So one is the disengaged groove and one is the engaged groove. So the trick is how to get those balls retracted into the shaft and to get this thing down into place. There's a special tool that allows this to be done. First thing we're going to do is get these balls to stay where we want them. I'm going to paint a little grease here on the ends of this spring to make it a little sticky. And I'll put the balls in place. Uh, along those pliers is a good thing to have for this. Extra set of fingers. Okay, so the grease is doing its job and those things are staying there. A uh, note that this is the new style PTO engagement disengagement. So this is the collar. This is the gear that slides down over it. When it's engaged, this is slid into the back so that it can drive. When it's disengaged, this pops out to let the gears turn with that, uh, freely of each other. This is the new style engagement system. This was introduced just in uh, October of 2013. So the one in your tractor may look slightly different, but the, the concept is the same. Set that aside. Here is the tool that BCS sells. These are about $50 for this tool. Uh, it has these two little fingers that wrap around here and compress the balls. There's a little divot drilled on the inside of each finger to help hold the ball in place. Uh, we rent these tools for $10 uh, for anybody who's doing this repair. So what I'm going to do is compress these balls in. Can I have that piece of pipe over there, BG? We're going to drop this down into place. And then we are going to use a piece of pipe to basically slam this thing down and shove the pliers down off of the ball so this thing can basically replace the pliers in retaining those things. The other way you can do it, quite frankly, is you can take this thing and hit it with a hammer. And that's probably a better idea. I'll take a nice dead blow hammer and give this thing a plop. Now that didn't work. But this is real life and sometimes it always doesn't work. What happened is one of the balls went flying. I heard it hit the floor. So we've actually damaged the spring slightly because it tried to cut it off, but it did not cut the spring. I could probably straighten this out and try it again. Okay, spring is salvaged. Slide that back through there. The one ball is still in place, so that's good. Get a little more grease over here. Okay, stay there. Up. Oh, one ball wants to fall out now. Where's my long nose pliers? There it is. Dip the ball in some grease. Okay. We'll 
try this again. Oh, darn. I'll tighten this in the vise so it can't move. It's a painstaking operation. This time, success. It's about, about the size of it. Got to work this out from under it. Now it is in the engaged position. It's popped out, so it's in the first groove. We're going to push it all the way down. Now that's in the disengaged position. Don't touch it. Now we're going to slide all the PTO shift linkage back through here. Uh, this goes through this hole here. This is the shift linkage on the inside, so we make sure that slides through there. Oh, and I'm doing this in the wrong order, as I just remembered, because I have to engage this little finger first. It slides into this groove here, so it can actually move the thing in and out. Now I get it aligned, push this through, and there is a roll pin here that will go down through this hole to lock the assembly together. So, kind of feel around and figure out where that roll pin is going to line up. There it goes. And you can use a larger diameter punch. Sure, it's fully seated. And now the PTO shift assembly engaged, disengaged, and we're back together. So we're ready to put this back on the transmission. This gear here will drop down into place here. That's the PTO drive gear. So this the PTO slider can engage or disengage with the back of that gear to engage power to the power takeoff. So from here, you would reassemble the transmission as you took it apart.